Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice system of equations x plus 1 over y is equal to 4 and y plus 1 over z is equal to 1 and z plus 1 over x is equal to 3. Our job is to find all possible values of x, y, z. So let's start. Let's call this equation equation 1, this equation equation 2 and this equation equation 3. And we multiply all these three equations. Equation 1 multiply by equation 2 multiply by equation 3. So, this will become x plus 1 over y times y plus 1 over z times z plus 1 over x is equal to 4 times 1 times 3. First we multiply these two expressions. This x times y will become x y and x times 1 over z will become plus x over z. Now, this 1 over y times this y will become plus 1 and 1 over y times 1 over z will become plus 1 over y z times this expression z plus 1 over x is equal to 4 times 1 times 3 will become 12. Now, this x y times z will become x y z. This x y times plus 1 over x will become plus y. And this x over z times z will become plus x. And x over z times 1 over x will become plus 1 over z. And this 1 times z will become plus z and 1 times 1 over x plus 1 over x. And 1 over y z times z will become plus 1 over y and 1 over y z times 1 over x will become plus 1 over x y z is equal to 12. Now, we combine these two terms x y z plus 1 over x y z. This will become x y z plus 1 over x y z plus we combine these two terms x plus 1 over y x plus 1 over y plus we combine these two terms y plus 1 over z y plus 1 over z plus we combine these two terms z plus 1 over x z plus 1 over x is equal to 12 we use parentheses to make these three groups. Now, we place these three terms x plus 1 over y, y plus 1 over z and z plus 1 over x from the values of original equations 4, 1 and 3. So, this will become x times y times z plus 1 over x times y times z plus this x plus 1 over y is equal to 4 plus y plus 1 over z is equal to 1 plus this z plus 1 over x is equal to 3 is equal to 12. Next x times y times z plus 1 over 
x times y times z plus this 4 plus 1 5 plus 3 will become 8 is equal to 12 we subtract 8 from both sides so this get cancelled and we are left with x times y times z plus 1 over x y z is equal to 12 minus 8 is 4 now we suppose that x times y times z is equal to t so this equation will become t plus 1 over t is equal to 4 and if we multiply both sides by t this implies that t squared plus 1 is equal to 4 times t move this 4t to the left hand side so this will become t squared minus 4 times t plus 1 is equal to 0 now this is a quadratic equation and is not factorable so we solve it by quadratic formula in this equation we have a is equal to 1 b is equal to negative 4 and c is equal to 1 according to quadratic formula t is equal to negative times the value of b is negative 4 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared we write negative 4 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 1 divided by 2 times a is 1 next t is equal to negative times negative 4 will become positive 4 plus or minus square root of this negative 4 squared will become 16 and negative 4 times 1 times 1 negative 4 divided by 2 times 1 2 and t is equal to 4 plus minus square root of this is 16 minus 4 will become 12 divided by 2 x t is equal to 4 plus minus this square root of 12 can be written as square root of 4 times 3 divided by 2 and t is equal to 4 plus minus this square root of 4 times 3 will become root 4 times root 3 divided by 2 next t is equal to 4 plus minus this root 4 will become 2 times root 3 divided by 2 next t is equal to from the numerator we can factor out 2 in bracket left 2 plus minus root 3 divided by 2 this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 so from here we get t is equal to 2 plus minus root 3 now recall that we have supposed we have supposed that x y z is equal to t we have supposed that x y z is equal to t so from here we get two values of x y z the first is 2 plus root 3 and the second is 2 minus root 3 this is the final answer of this problem